Hi, Robert. Hello, good evening. How are you? Perfectly fine, are you? Excellent, I'm okay. I have a little migraine, but I'm okay. Okay. All right, hi, Nidia. Hi, Nidia. Hi, good evening. I'm sorry I'm late. I no, didn't. That's okay. I was wondering where everybody was today. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't find the, the link. Oh, really? The... Oh, yes. okay. But oh, I did it. But you so, did. Very good. Thank yes. you. All right. Very good. So, how was your weekend, Robert and Media? Weekend okay? Uh, yeah. Fine. Yeah, so far, yeah. Yeah. All right. Very good. 14. Yes, of course. We have to be. <laughs> what yes. about you, Robert? Do you go to work or you stay home or you work from home? So far right now, I have been working from home. Okay. On my regular schedules. But right. besides that, mm -hmm. I have some pending things that I will have to uh, go to do to the office. Right some clients that I will have to, some customers that I will have to visit before this uh, time pass. Okay. And I have a lot of things pending. Yeah, I imagine. Yes, all right. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, Robert and Nidia, you, you guys sent me the audios over the weekend and I appreciate that. Right now, I'm still checking um, all of yours, like yours and Nidia's as well as Freddy's and Astrid, who will send it to me, Saida, all right? So <clears throat> I'm on the process of checking all of your um, responses. As soon as I'm finished, I'm gonna ask you guys individually to send me your um, email so I can send your, your sheet of evaluation, all right? That's very personal, so I'm gonna send it to you, all right? This, as I said to you last week, um, it's not graded on the platform because there's no way, like possible way to like be graded there because you have to speak. So I'm gonna send it to you. So the report is gonna be sent to your email, all right? So give me today, tomorrow, perhaps Wednesday, I'm gonna be able to send all of your um, evaluation sheets, all right, to you. So, but I do appreciate you sending everything. So that's, that's very nice of you. All right, so we have the last week already. This is the very last week of the course, all right? So, uh, hi, Saida. So I have felt the time flying really, really fast. I don't know about what about you, but I felt it really fast. It's like a month already. So uh, it's done, all right? So I don't know if you guys already received the email or all the information you have to send to the academy so you guys can like get enrolled on the next course which is TOEFL 3. Have you done it already Nidia? Yes? Excellent, thank you. Hi Freddy. Nice Hi, to teacher. see you, very good. Freddy, Saida and Robert, have you received the email and complied with all the paperwork that they asked from you? Yes, yes. I have already filled it out and sent the form. Excellent, all right, very good. So we're ready to start. Hopefully we'll start like, I think even next week if everything works out well, all right? But again, it depends a lot on the, everybody, not only you, but everybody uh, that is taking these online classes, finishing all the platform that they are enrolled in, plus sending all the paperwork. So hopefully, I mean, I, I don't think it will take that long, but yeah, as, as long as, and as soon as you guys have everything in and everything done, we're gonna start right away. All right, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be teaching TOEFL 3 to you, but in case I'm not, the instructor that has to teach it to you or that's gonna teach it to you, they are going to do a lot of activities regarding of all the um, skills that you need to have in order to succeed the TOEFL test, all right? In case I'll teach it, then that's what we're going to be doing. A lot of practices next module or our next course. So with that being said, Saida and Freddy also, thank you so much for sending all the uh, responses. All right, Guillermo, I'm missing your responses. So I'm expecting to see those, all right, as soon as possible. So I have, I have time to like evaluate them and then send you uh, the uh, evaluation sheet to your email. 
When I'm done, I'm gonna be asking you guys, Freddy, Saida, and Guillermo, for the ones that came a little later, I'm gonna be asking from your email so I can send the report, let's say, to you. All right, because remember that they're not graded on the platform, all right? So make sure that you understand that because you're not gonna see the score there, all right? You're gonna have it on paper individually, all right? The same thing is gonna be happening, <clears throat> excuse me, with the writing uh, assignments that we're going to be working like this way, all right? So as you know, this is the very last week and we have to work on the writing section, okay? So that's what we have to do today. If you have seen it already from the platform, the writing section, we only cover one type of question, which, which is independent question two. All right, that's how they call it. All right, so it's no big deal. I'm gonna show you this right now. This is the PowerPoint I have, and we're gonna watch the video together just in case you haven't. All right, so you guys know what I'm talking about, all right? So here we have the presentation. At the end of the class, I'm gonna send it to you so you can have it as always, all right? So here we have uh, independent question two. That's the last section of the uh, writing, all right? So we're gonna watch the video right now so you guys kind of pretty much have an idea of what's going on. I'm sure you probably watched it already. So here, we're gonna watch this right now together and then as if you have questions or anything, I'll stop it and then we can discuss about it, all right? And then we're gonna get hands on. So don't worry about being so um, theory-like theory class. Maximum length for your essay, but a good response today, is usually at least 300 words. <laughs> section of this course, right. the writing okay, section. Can we'll go over some? writing question two, the independent writing question. We will see how the question is structured how to approach the question, how your response is a score, and we'll give you some tips for improving your writing skills. So here's generally what question two will look like. For this task, you're presented with a question and you have 30 minutes to write your response. There's no maximum length for your essay, but a good response is usually at least 300 words. All right, so here's what it's gonna look like, the, um, this type of question, the independent writing question two. All right, you're gonna be given a question, all right, and you have 30 minutes to write an essay, all right? Now, before we go on, eh, for the ones that are already here in class, have you ever written an essay before? Nidia, Robert, Saida, have you guys have done it? Guillermo, have you written an essay before or not really? Or did you do one on uh, TOEFL 1 that you were supposed to? No. You didn't write an essay on TOEFL 1? Mm-mm. All right, okay, all right. And be besides the TOEFL one, have you ever write, uh, have you ever in an essay before? No, never? Freddy? Mm, an essay yeah. in your life, yeah? All right, very good, yeah, maybe. All right, very good. All right, Robert, what about yourself? Well, I have written down an essay, but for TOEFL one and as well for uh, before that. Okay, all right, so you have- Specifically when I try to apply for certain type of job positions. Okay, nice, okay. Very good, thank you, Robert. What about Saida and Guillermo? Have you guys tried or have you written an essay before or not really? Uh, and Guillermo? No. Okay, that's okay. No. Uh, no. All right, okay. So this is like fairly new for us, all right? So right now we're not really going to go deep into techniques because that's what TOEFL 3 is about, okay? But we're going to write essays like with, with us, with me. All right, so the question for example here says, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? There is nothing that an, an educated person can teach an educated person, all right? So that's the TOEFL question here. Now, you're supposed to use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. These type of questions, all right, they ask about what you think. If you agree or disagree, if you support or not support, all right, or what's your point of view, all right, but you have 30 minutes to do so, okay? They don't really tell you how many words you're supposed to type or write, but it's a maximum of 300 words, all right? A, a minimum and a maximum, all right? I mean, usually it's between that range. They don't wanna read something very long because they don't have enough time to read many, many 
like essays that people write. All right, but they don't wanna see something that is just a paragraph, watch it. An essay is very different than a, a paragraph, all right? So some yeah. people make that mistake that they say, okay, I, I have written an essay, but they have written a paragraph that belongs to an essay. That's a different story, all right? So let's go on here. So what is the question asking you to do? Question structure, 30 minutes, 300 or more words. The independent writing question will ask your opinion on an issue. So often you'll get a question such as, do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Or do you support or oppose this idea? Question structure, your opinion on an issue. Do you agree or disagree? Which would you prefer? Do you support or oppose this idea? Use a specific reasons and examples. All right, this is very important guys, because if you, for example, if they ask you, do you agree or disagree? Don't say, yes, I agree. But why do you agree? You need to give examples. You need to give reasons, all right? You have to like base your um, opinion on something, all right? It's not just a matter of saying, yes, I, I agree. Or no, I disagree. I have, but why, all right? That's not going to take 300 words. That takes three words, all right? So you can't do that. Approach tips. Make an outline. Some people like to travel with a companion. Other people prefer to travel alone. Which do you prefer? Don't memorize. Sometimes what people tend to do is because they do some practices before they take TOEFL tests and they write essays, all right, as practices. And they try to memorize what they have written. By the time you go and take the TOEFL test, they try to like, Remember what they have written before while they were practicing and it's a mess, all right? The same thing as the responses when you're doing your speaking part. Make sure that you don't try to memorize. You, don't, you never know what the question is going to be anyway, but some people tend to believe that they might just get the same question. That's almost impossible, all right? So you will waste your time if you're trying to memorize something, all right? We're going to stop here. With this uh, you can keep on watching it after that so what is, what we're going to do right now I'm gonna show you this so here we have all right we watched the video so this is what I want you guys to pay attention to for you to succeed on your essay or your writing um, section of your TOEFL test you have to be familiar with the organization of an effective essay so in a way we're gonna work through that week but for sure we're gonna work through that on TOEFL 3 all right we're gonna I'm gonna take if I teach it to you I'm gonna take you step by step talking about how can you how can you write an introduction a conclusion a thesis statement a topic sentence all right for you to have a nice and well-developed essay all right so again it's a process here now another thing that you need to like pay attention to Again, as I said it many, many times on this, you need to make sure you understand what you're being asked, all right? You need to understand the question. So here it says, study the question carefully, all right? So if you think you read it once, read it twice, read it thrice, all right? Make sure you understand the question, if the, what they are asking from you, all right? Another thing that you have to take into account is to organize your ideas, and that is basic, okay? You have to know how to organize your ideas, because if not, you're gonna get lost while you're writing. Because when we're thinking, when, we're, when we write, we think, okay? And we have this brainstorm of ideas coming to your head, all right, as you write, and then if you don't organize them, you're gonna be switching from one idea to the next, and you're not really gonna make any sense, all right? Because you're just jumping from here to the next point and you lost your way, all right? So organizing your ideas. And that's what we're going to be working today and perhaps tomorrow, all right? The next, th the next thing that is very important for you to keep in mind is budget your time. You need to time yourself, all right? Remember that the, the whole TOEFL test is time. It's about time here. And it, it has a lot, like it makes a lot of pressure on you because you are being timed. So now that you know that, because some people, 
and they don't even know that they were gonna be timed. Now you guys know this, okay? And for this type of question, you have 30 minutes. All right, so in 30 minutes, you need to write an entire essay. It's not impossible, but if you do, like if you go step by step, you can actually achieve it and you'll have no problem with it. You need to check your grammar, guys, and this is very, very important. We need to make sure that we, as we speak, we can actually write it on paper, all right? Make sure that you, as I mean, right now, it's good because you guys are practicing, so you can reread it, you can proofread it, you can give it to someone else, that which we're, we're going to do, to, uh, for them to proofread it for you, all right? On the real TOEFL, of course, you can't. All right, but you already know that if you time yourself and you say, okay, I'll, I want to get 20 minutes, all right? I want to see if I can write an essay. So the next 10 minutes, I can check my grammar, my spelling, my structure, my everything, my cohesion of, of my whole essay. That's perfect. So I do suggest from you, perhaps, Try to do it a fine. They give you 30 minutes, then you try to like take 20. So the other 10, you can check it fast, all right? Among all their features or among all their things that we need to take into account, which we'll see on top of three. All right, so right now what I want to work on, and I want you to see this, I have an example of an essay here, all right? I haven't sent this to you but you know what, I don't think it's that heavy, so I'm gonna send it, but right now, can you guys perhaps take a picture of it right now? Can you take a picture of this? I'm just gonna move us here because we're on the way. I know. There, can you take a quick picture, guys, of this? Yes. Thank you. Let me know when you're done. It's done. All right, everybody finished? Yes, it's excellent. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to send you right now to your groups. And what I want you to do is I want you to read. Hi, Evelyn. I'm sorry. Hi, Maribel. I didn't see you coming in. Uh, what we're going to do is I want you guys to study it, to read over the essay. All right, sometimes it's important to see an example before we actually take action, okay? So what I want you to do is read the question that is on top and then just kind of walk, walk through it or work with it, as in like read it. I'm just gonna show it to you again. This is what I want you to do. I'm just gonna move you guys here, hold on. All right. Here we have, if you notice it says, example essay question and response. The question, read the question below on the example essay that follows the question. Some people believe that mothers should not work. Others argue against this. Consider the problem that a working mother faces. Do you believe mothers should work? They are asking your opinion, all right, about this matter. Now, this person has written an essay, perhaps about 300 words, a little bit more. It cannot be less, all right? If I want you to pay attention to the structure of the essay. Take a look at the introductory paragraph. Go on reading it. A stop with a developmental paragraph. One, go on reading all the way to the end, all right? A study it. See what they actually say in each paragraph, okay? And then I'll tell you what we're going to do next. So here, I'm going to stop it. Send you right now to your breakout rooms. Read it, guys. I want you to take a look at it and read it. Why do I want you to do this right now in class? Because if I send it to you, maybe you won't. All right, but right now you're forced to. Okay, so in a good way, of course. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send you guys to your breakout rooms. See it as practice time, okay? I need you to do that, to practice, to, to actually see a response. There we go.
Uh -huh. okay. I don't feel very well. I, I got some headache too. Maribel Sita. Oh. Hi. Hi, what happened to your responses? You didn't send anything. Ah, uh, oh my God, so I couldn't. Uh -huh, so I, I couldn't. couldn't. But I, but I you think... went to the beach, Maribel. No, 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 no. No, I think I was so busy and I was I was finishing my platform because I okay. I was a little bit behind. behind. Uh -huh. All right, just make sure, Maribel, that you do it like this week, all right? Because I need to send all the reports to you individually with your evaluations, okay? Okay. All right. But I was uh, but today I was I was doing a conversation about uh, apply uh, to the university for job. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Very good. I'll let you guys work. Okay. I'm gonna go. Okay. okay thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hi, Saidita, what happened? Is Guillermo here? No. <laughs> he is, but he isn't. <laughs> Saida, where are you? Uh, maybe, yeah, he's in again. Hold on. I'm going to send it back to you, your group. Let's wait for him. I think he's having problems with his internet connection. Saida, did you, did you take a picture of the uh, essay? Yes. All right. Well, maybe while you wait for Guillermo, you may start. Oh, hey, hey. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Oh, he's connecting to audio right now. Oh, uh, hello, teacher. Hi, uh, hello. How are you? Uh, hello. I'm, hello. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, because my cell phone. Ah. ah, okay, all right. Do you have the screenshot of the essay? Um, yes. All right, maybe, um, um, Saida, uh -huh. do you mind sharing it on the screen so we, you guys can read it together? That's the idea. Okay. Um, yes, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, a little. Uh -huh. All right. Um, uh, um, uh, but uh, it, uh, I, uh, uh, I am uh, back to the class. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Guillermo. Yeah, that's okay. All right. So, Saida, you, you know how to share your screen, Saida? Mm, okay. Yeah. Teacher, but I don't okay. know why compartir. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Um, uh, 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 what was the topic of the class? Uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, today we're talking uh, about independent writing question two, Guillermo. Saida, you know what I'm going to do, Saida? I'm going to go. Oh, there you go. Yes. Thank you, Saida. Very good. Well done. Oh, yeah. Good. Right. Uh, thank you. I will. All right. So, Saida okay. and Guillermo, you may read it together. All right. And try to see the parts of the essay and everything. So, you have an idea of how to write one. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you, Saida. And only the woman herself shall decide this matter. Oh, you guys are done reading. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Of course. All right. So you took a look. Uh, did you guys take a look at the introductory paragraph, the developmental one, the second uh, developmental paragraph, and the conclusion? All right. So if you notice, of course, we on an essay, um, Freddy and Robert, of course, you need to have an introductory paragraph always because you need to introduce the topic somehow. And you have to have a conclusion. That's a must. Now, of course, you need to have paragraphs. How many paragraphs do you have to write is up to you, depending on the length of your essay. 
usually because this one is 300 words you may be taking or you may be, you may be talking about two or three paragraphs at the most because it's only 300 words but again it would depend some people can ask you like 500 word essay a thousand word essay but then it's like a huge thing all right but again it depends on how many words that you are being asked that would depend on how many paragraph body paragraphs you're going to have but the introductory and the conclusion is always a must okay now within the introductory paragraph you have your thesis statement and you have your topic sentences your topic sentence is the, the the sentence that introduces the topic that's why it's called topic sentence all right and your thesis statement is the statement that you have that you're going to develop during the whole essay, all right? Your strongest point, put it that way, all right? I'm going to share something with you right now because the first group that already finished reading it. I'm gonna share it right now. Please take a picture and discuss together with Freddy Robert what they are talking about. This, what I'm about to show you is about this essay and how they are analyzing it, okay? So I'm going, yeah, thank you. So I'm going to share with you to this one here, hold on. Okay, can you guys take a picture of, oops, not that, of this. This is the, an, the analysis of the example essay, okay? This is the same thing about the last essay, but they are analyzing it. They're not like rereading it or rewriting it. They are analyzing the essay and each part, okay? Did you take a picture of Robert and Freddy, yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. now what I'm gonna stop sharing, I'm gonna leave you alone. You can work through it, read together with Freddy and Robert what the analysis of this essay is about. Read what happened on the introductory paragraph, on the developmental paragraph one, two, and on that conclusion. This essay, it's there for a reason, is because it's a very well-written essay, all right? So this is how your essay should look like, all right? So that, like, what I, why I wanted to share this is for you to have an idea of how to write one and how almost a perfect essay looks like, all right? Or a good essay. Again, there are problems here and there because it's not perfect. But the idea is there, all right? Okay. Okay, so you may start, keep on working and I'll go to another group to check, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. I'm you sorry, Jesse, we oh, don't have the... You don't have the picture? We don't have the, yes. Oh, okay, no, we don't worry. The, okay, let me, let me share it for you girls. Here, hold on. Here, I'm just gonna move us because, yeah, there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, hold on, I'm just gonna move us here. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, Maribel, if you want, we can read it again. Okay. So you, I think I, I, I arrived until I believe that every mother has the right to work and the decision should be one that a woman makes on her own. But First, she should carefully consider the many problems that, they, that she might encounter. The major problems that a working mother faces concern her children. Uh, she must e either find a reliable, uh, reliable, reliable, reliable person who will be loving toward the children or a good daycare center that the children can attend. If a child gets sick, the mother must take special arrangements for the child to be cared for at, for, at, for at home, or she must stay home from work herself. 
while at work, the mother may worry about her children. Uh -huh. she, she may wonder if they are safe. She may wonder if they are safe, if they are learning the values uh, she wants them to have, and if her uh, absence is hurting them emotionally. She may also regret not being able to take them to after school activities or participate in family activities with them. Even though a mother is frequently pro forced into working for economic reasons, uh -huh, she soon discovers that there are other ad expenses. The biggest expense is child care. Another, another expense is transportation, which includes not, not only going to work, but also getting her children to school or daycare. Uh, this may include purchasing and maintain, maintaining a car. Uh, yet another expense, another expense is clothing such as uniform or business suits to maintain a professional appearance. Very good reading, Maribel. Uh -huh. Continue. I think this this passage is a little bit uh, friendly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Continue, continue. Then the other, I don't see. Oh my God! After a mother takes after a mother takes into account all of the above problems, and perhaps other problems unique to her situation, she must decide if a job out, outside the, the home is worth it. I believe that even though she faces major obstacles, obstacles, uh, obstacles, these obstacles are not insurmountable. Insurmountable. Many mothers do work and manage a family very successfully. In, conclu in conclusion, it is a it is a woman's right to make this choice. And only the woman herself should, should decide this matter. All right, very good. Okay, so now girls, you saw that you have an introductory paragraph, two development, developmental paragraphs, and one conclusion. I was telling Freddie and Robert that in every essay, you must have an introductory paragraph as well as a conclusion. What I'm not, I'm not saying that you don't have to have paragraphs in between or the developmental paragraph, but that will depend on the amount of words the essay should be about. In this case, they only have two paragraphs because the essay is only 300 words. If you're asked to write a 500 word essay, perhaps you would need an extra paragraph, okay? What I'm saying is the body paragraphs or the developmental paragraphs depend on the amount of words your essay needs to be. But the introductory and the conclusion, they always have, it, it has to be one at the beginning, one at the end, one being the introductory paragraph and the other being the conclusion paragraph, okay? What you have in between that is called the body of the essay, it depends on how many words you need, all right? now. Within the introductory paragraph, you girls are going to find a topic sentence. This is a statement. The topic sentence is the topic pretty much of the essay without saying this is the topic of the essay. And the thesis statement is your strongest point up that you're going to be talking about on your essay, okay? So this is how an essay should look like. I'm not saying this essay is perfect, but is on the book, so it should be like close to it, all right? Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of this right now. They analyze the essay. The previous essay that Maribel just read is being analyzed here, all right? Go over, all right, talking about, I mean, go over reading it, what happens on the introductory paragraph? What happened on the developmental paragraph one on the developmental paragraph two and what happened on the conclusion, all right? See what, how they have structured it and how they have analyzed it, yeah? That's what I want to do right now. So Maribel and Nidia, may you take a picture oh, of this right oh. now? Yes. Okay.
Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop sharing. No, 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 no. Okay, no. sorry. Okay. Okay. All right, very good. So I'm going to stop sharing right now. You may read it together, discuss what they um, are analyzing on it, and then I'll tell you what we're going to do. Perhaps we're going to start only start the new activity and then tomorrow we'll go on, all right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Saida. Hi, Guillermo. You're finished reading? Yes, but the, the next slides? Yes. Yeah. Uh, right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share it with you right now uh, because I was working on the other group. All right, Saida, that's, that's the one. Yeah. All right, yes. so, yes, very good. So Saida and Guillermo, on this slide or in this um, information, what they are doing is they are analyzing the previous essay, okay? I'm just gonna move my, um, my slide back. What I want you to take a look at it, Saida and Guillermo, is that on this essay, you have an introductory paragraph and a conclusion paragraph, okay? For every essay you write, you need, you must have an introductory paragraph and you need to have a conclusion paragraph. What is in the introductory paragraph and the conclusion one depends on how many words your essay needs to be, all right? So in this case, because this essay is only three words, long they only have two paragraphs okay but if you're asked to write a 500 word essay probably you would need to write a third paragraph so what i'm saying is the body paragraphs will depend on how many words your essay must be all right but it doesn't matter how many words your essay must have you need to have an introductory paragraph and you need to have a conclusion paragraph okay now, okay. within the uh, introductory paragraph, as we go on for the next course, if I teach it to you, we're going to see that in an, introduct in an introductory paragraph, you need to have a topic sentence and a thesis statement. You're probably wondering what's that. A topic sentence goes in your introductory paragraph and tells about what your topic is about and your thesis statement is perhaps the strongest point of your essay okay that you're going to be dealing or working on it through the whole uh, time that you write your essay but that we're going to work on for the next course right now we're just kind of looking at this essay and we're going to try to write the best essay possible now here what they are doing they are analyzing the example of the essay that we just read, okay? So I want you to read it, to look at it. What are they saying about this introductory paragraph? What are they saying about the first and second developmental paragraph? What are they saying about the conclusion? Usually this essay should be okay because they take it as an example, all right? So read through it and the idea is for you to have an idea of how an essay, how an essay should look like, okay? Okay. All right. Very good. I'm going to stop sharing right now. Thank you. So you may start working with um, Guillermo. Oh. All right. Hi, Freddy. Hi, Robert. Hello, Miss. Yes. Hello. What did you discover? You already read this. I know. I'm sorry. I took a while, but I was uh, talking with Maribel and the other uh, the other group. All right. Don't worry. So, what did you guys discover? What happened on the developmental paragraph one? What's there? What is, what's there? What's the paragraph about? What are you supposed to include on these paragraphs? All the type of things that just like make conflict or that create difficulties uh, to the problem that you're writing your say about or okay. to the topic that you are trying to explain about. Okay, all right. Okay, so if you would tell me, Freddy, what is uh, the idea? No, is there an idea going on on paragraph one and on paragraph?
is there an idea there that you can say, ah, that's, she's talking or he is talking about, for example, food. And on the second one, they're talking about health. All right. Can you be like, can you try to tell me what they're talking about on paragraph one and on paragraph two? Is it the same? Or what I want you to tell me is, for example, what what this person talked about on paragraph one? What uh, is the idea? Uh, well, it's talking about my opinion. If is if, if I agree or disagree, if the mother uh, is correct to works um, outside. Mm -hmm. All right, Robert, Robert said something like a very, like, like he said something and he's That's talking amazing. about problems, right? What are the problems that these women face going to work outside of home? That, for example, the mother could be wondered uh, all time during, mm -hmm. during she is working mm -hmm. by if if her children are okay, mm, okay. And, and different activity. yeah. Okay, anything else that she or he mentioned on paragraph two, Robert, that you found like important that this person made emphasis while he or she was writing this essay, Robert, for paragraph two? For paragraph two, they are talking about the type of uh, inconvenience that they will have to face just like additional expenses. Excellent, or, very good. Uh, leaving the the leaving their kids at the daycare, mm -hmm. the daycare cost, right? The daycare transportation, the public right. transportation, or even the fees that she will have to pay to fix her car if right. she uh, is able to get a car. Those type right. of things. Uh, very good. Addition, uh, an, an additional difficulty. Right. Very good. So in paragraph two, they talk about, let's say that they pretty much talk about expenses and the different type of expenses that Robert just mentioned. Very well done. What happened on the, uh, we went to the body right now. What happened on the introductory paragraph? Did we find out what he or she was going to be writing about? And did we find out about anything else, Freddy? So in the intro, introductory paragraph, mm -hmm. uh, the author yes is talk about the it's talking present, about it's talking about the present situation of the mm -hmm. mothers. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, what type of mothers, Freddy? What type uh, of mothers are they like really being emphatic of on? Mm. Any kind of mother or a particular mother? Well, in the if I mentioned the uh, the mother that have children. That what? And they do what? And have different necessities. Uh, needs, all right. Because needs. because she needs to go to outside. To do to what? Excellent. So she, they're talking about working mothers, right? Yeah, you got it. All right. So they're talking about working or he or she or the author, as you said, they're working, they're working, they are talking about working mothers. All right. Very good. Okay. So what happens then? So you found out that they were going to talk about working mothers. Okay. What else? So um also the author mentioned that it's necessary because uh, um, the money is not enough to cover different necessities in the house for example to uh, maintain a career mm -hmm. yeah all right now uh, robert did we find an opinion of the author within the introductory paragraph Within the introductory paragraph, mm -hmm. an did, we, opinion. did we find an opinion somehow? Yeah, at, the, at, the end. at the end, because it's, it says that each woman has the, the right to 
to decide if, if they work or not. And that was on the conclusion or the or in the introductory paragraph. That's on the introductory paragraph. Oh, it's in both, basically. It's in both. But it, it, right. It, it's at the end of the introductory paragraph. Right, where it says, right I, that believe, says I believe that's yeah. right. Yes. I believe that every mother has the right to work. And the decision should be one that a woman makes on her own. All right. So that's her thesis, his or her thesis statement. All right. Because at the end, we if you go back to the conclusion, at the very end it says, in conclusion, it is a woman's right, blah, blah, blah. Right. So he like defends, let's say, his or her opinion again about being her own right and nobody should tell her what to do all right so that was his or her thesis statement of the whole essay all right and he or she gives examples okay what are the problems what are the expenses of the problem all right tomorrow guys we're going to keep on taking this as an example and we're going to work on a mind map okay that i we didn't have a chance to work on it so please be in class so we can like work on it. That will help you to actually write your essays that you have to do on your platform that you're going to send to me anyway. Yeah. All right. So yeah. um, we're going to go back to the main group because I have okay. the other class. Um, but you already got, you guys already know what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. Okay. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. Great work. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys, I think everybody's with me. Okay, I was telling Robert and Freddy, because of time we need to go right now, I have another class tomorrow. I hope everybody got a chance to read the analysis of the essay, okay? If you did not finish, I do invite for you to finish reading it, okay? The, an the analysis, okay? Take a look at every paragraph, in this case only two, but in every paragraph there was an idea going on. With Robert and Freddie, we decided, or they decided, better said, that, oh, for example, in paragraph two, this person that wrote the essay was talking about expenses, all right? And he or she mentions about expenses of the daycare, expenses of the bus, expenses of repairing the car, expenses, 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 all right? On um, perhaps paragraph one, we were, they were talking about problems in general, that she's going to be worried about if the kid's okay, if they are learning enough, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? We also said with Freddie and Robert that in the introductory paragraph, we found an opinion of the author, of the person that wrote this. It says, I believe, blah, blah, blah. That part where it says, and when we finish the class, I would like you guys to go back and kind of read that last line. It says, I believe that every woman has the right to, that is the thesis statement of the whole essay. How do you know that? Because at the end on, your conclu on his or her conclusion paragraph, he or she has stated it again, all right? To make the, strong, the point is stronger, all right? So tomorrow, guys, we're gonna keep on studying the same essay because tomorrow I'm going to teach you or show you or walk you through making a mind map. What's a mind map? It's a map that helps you organize your ideas, okay? We're gonna take this mind map, okay, based on this essay, this is an hour class, probably we're gonna finish it before. So the other time that we have left, I'm gonna give you a question tomorrow, okay? And you're going to work on your own mind map based on the essay that you already saw, that you already read, and the ideas that are here like flowing, all right? So thank you so much. I'm gonna send to you the presentation with the two, the two first slides that you guys were working on because the third one is tomorrow's class. So I don't wanna spoil class tomorrow, okay? So I'm gonna cut yeah. it right now and then I'm gonna send it to you, but tomorrow at the end, I'll send the whole complete PPT, all right? Thank you so much for being in class. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Have a nice night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow.